Okay, today I'm going to show you how to integrate uh, InfoLinks, which is uh, in-text advertising, very similar to AdSense. Okay, so I've already uh, pre-registered, uh, and now my application for uh, having uh, InfoLinks on my Who Is Chase Swift uh, blog has been approved. So you need to wait until you get uh, approved, and then what I'll do. Um, actually, you can see my blog right here and right now it does not have info links on it so I'll show you how that looks when we do um, so the best thing to do is go to login to infolinks.com okay that's the, the web address and then just click login and most of you will be publishers you're gonna put uh, content on your blog so you're a publisher so click publisher and then you can just log in with your email and password and I have uh, actually quite a few websites and the one that um, I'm adding is number four for who is chaseswift.com now you can put code but you'd have to put it on every post so you'd have to come back here and get code every time and there's actually well there's just this amount of code which you would copy but that takes longer than doing it with the WordPress plugin so what I'm going to do is uh, log in to my WordPress plug plugin, or I'm sorry, WordPress website. Okay, who is Chase Swift? And <clears throat> once you're there, you want to go to your plugins. And if you've not installed um, the InfoLinks plugin, you can just look for it. It's very easy to find. And where, okay, you know what? I haven't done it, so this is a good demonstration. So at this point, I need to search and find it. So I'll add a new one, okay? I'll just type info links, okay? Search the plugins, and looks like the second one right here is the info links official plugin. And go ahead and click install now, click OK. Okay, and then, as with most plugins, you need to click Activate. So I'll just click Activate Plugin. Okay, so now we have the InfoLinks official plugin loaded and activated. So now I need to go down to Settings, and then you can see InfoLinks Settings. Uh, let's look at my websites. <clears throat> there we go. This is better. Um, so, actually, I just went to my websites and they're all active right now. Okay. So, this is the number you need. Let's just copy that. Take out all this messy script and just paste in the number. Okay. And that will be the same number for all your blogs. If you have multiple ones like I do, it'll be the same. Now you'll see that um, who is Chase Swift? That's number four. Okay, so I'll just type that in. Click number four. Oops, not number five, number four. Okay, now there's some other options which you could exclude it on certain pages, but I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm going to click Save Settings. And it is saving slowly. There it goes. And let's go look at the blog now. It's working on it. Okay. So here is the blog. And you see that I get these underlined uh, green words. And these are the info links. So this is like AdSense. If someone is like curious, and they will be naturally curious, uh, they'll say hmm look at that and then if they click on this anywhere on this this is revenue to you okay so um, and it just randomly picks words throughout your blog you never know which words they're going to use you don't care it doesn't matter so that's adding info links to your blog okay now as just a real quick uh, reminder let's go up to my account and actually reports that's what I was looking for and I've been a member for I don't know a couple months let's look at the last three months 
and display that report okay whatever okay and we just scroll down you can see a number of clicks and for you know, a couple months it's four bucks which is not a whole lot right now but over time it's growing and I'm driving traffic to my websites and you can see actually uh, which websites which blogs which websites are getting them you know the individual clicks and things like that so my traffic way for profit uh, com blog is doing pretty good right now okay so that's how to integrate info links into your website <laughs>